Hello and welcome back to the old golden black finally after a, a much needed break from football. I mean we've had three or four weeks of constant football so we did need a bit of a break didn't we? But back into it now with a game against Millwall and it's going to be a tough challenge against the Millwall team who battered Norwich who were early season promotion favourites in their last game 4-0. So it's not going to be easy for us tomorrow at all. And we need to pick up points. The last two games have been disappointing. A defeat to Cardiff and a draw against Brentford. Really, really need to do with picking up some points now. And, of course, for Wolves it's going to be difficult because we've got a reputation of conceding goals against former players. And Millwall are likely to be fielding two former players in George Savile and Jed Wallace. I think we can cope with Millwall. They're not going to be the sort of hard, tough team that we expect them to be because of their fans and the reputation that the club has got. Neil Harris has got them playing quite a nice brand of football, so we should be into you know, a fairly good football match tomorrow uh, rather than a battle that we had against Cardiff. But Millwall now would have had a couple of weeks to observe the matches against Brentford and Cardiff that we had and work out where our defects are because we do have defects. Uh, play, men... Other teams putting men behind the ball have struggled to deal with that. We've struggled to deal with competitive and tough teams as well. So perhaps we could see Millwall coming out like that as well. Wolves are also missing Willy Bolly, likely to be missing Willy Bolly after he picked up an injury during the international break in training, which is annoying. The club has not made it clear as to how long he's going to be out for. So we should expect Ryan Bennett or Danny Bart to come in instead of him. It's going to be interesting to see who does come in because then we'll get a clear picture of who Nuno is uh, preferring as a sort of backup for the front for the back three. The last time Wolves played Millwall was the last game of the 2014-15 season. Wolves' first season back in the Championship after the relegation to League One, uh, where they won 4-2, and they the team only realised in the last few minutes that they should have been scoring more goals throughout the season and started to try and score. But also that season they had a three-all draw at Millwall. Uh, so there have been quite a few tasty matches between the two, but Wolves have come off the better over the last few years with Millwall only winning one of the last six meetings, But that and that was back in 2012. So in this early season uh, table, Wolves are sitting fourth on 10 points and Millwall sitting 17th with five points. It's going to be interesting to see how Wolves set up on Saturday and whether there's going to be anything different, anything's changed over the international break. I wouldn't imagine that it would have done. Uh, quite a few players have been out on international duty. Uh, Ruben Neves with the Portuguese under-21s, Vinagre with the under-19s, I believe, in Portugal, who won a sort of tournament, a UEFA Invitational Tournament or something. And of course, for the first time, we're not going to be able to see Nua Dicko coming off the bench as that sort of impact in the second half as well. I'd love to know who you think is going to be used as that impact substitution with 20 minutes to go to sort of try and pick holes in that defence and try and eke out a goal in the last couple of minutes. The next couple of games are very important for Wolves. Of course, Millwall on Saturday, followed by Bristol City on Tuesday night, who haven't had a great start to the season themselves. If we don't pick up maximum points from these two games, I think we're going to start dropping off the pace. It's a pivotal time. I know it's very early in the season, but teams who go on to win leagues and get promoted automatically win these types of matches and get themselves into those automatic spots early on and stay there. Because if you remember in previous years, in the sold back in era, in the uh, jacket era a couple of years ago, we were up the to and Zenga last year, in fact, we were knocking at the door of the top two, but we never were consistent and we're never able to break into those top two. So these two games for me are really, really important. And if we pick up six points, I'm confident of a promotion push. We've now been made favourites by a number of different media outlets. Also, a talk sports supercomputer has made us now new uh, favourites to be the champions at the end of the year. It's a long road to go. We've only played five games. We haven't been convincing in the last two so it's going to be good to see us back at Molyneux and pushing on forward. Thank you for watching today's preview. Let me know what you think the score is going to be and who do you think is going to be that impact sub of the bench tomorrow. Uh, and don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you uh, after the game tomorrow for a little review of the game. I'll see you. Goodbye.